Hello, hello, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that everyone is doing well. Aries. <laughs> we have the Destroyer, the Box, the Mask, the Threshold, I mean, the Threshold, the Heart, the Cave, the Mentor, and Agape. <laughs> I was listening to Russ. What can I do with myself? <laughs> but I feel like that's your energy. I don't know. I just feel like this. Like, you know, nobody's gonna do this. Fuck it, I'll do it myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm I'm gonna have to be the one that breaks through these walls and busts out of this mask. You know what I mean? I just feel like there's this energy around you that feels very like like, that's where I said you capped out. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you being like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. You know what I mean? Just kind of this, like, I if I'm gonna get what I want, like, I can't, I can't be limited by some other people's bullshit. <laughs> Feels, right? The heart, the threshold, the cave, the mentor. Um, you know, I do feel like when you're busting out of this, again, it just feels like this. I'll do it myself. Like, I'll figure it out. No worries. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel like you feel. Or you're dealing with somebody who feels that way. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. You can be on either side of the story. These are general reads, so it will not resonate in every single way for everyone. <laughs> But I do feel like when you're breaking out of this thing where you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to go ahead and go. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna just do, do what it is that I want to do for whatever reason that I want to do it at that given point in time. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I think because you're willing to do that, you're, you're stepping into, I feel like a lot of my Aries, like a, like an opportunity for a relationship because I mean, the cave is the idea of like intimacy and the heart is, you know, home is where the heart is. And I just feel like becoming really intimate, which it's been in your relation or your relationships, your reads for a while now is this relationship, right? Um, so I don't know because <clears throat> I guess for some of my areas here, it might be this idea of again, like you're that person who like doesn't show up or you like barely shows up and then, you know, like wants to demand that, you know, like you've done all these things and I, and somebody looking at you, like, I don't know the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you know what I mean? In what world? <laughs> right? And it's just kind of like, I don't know, I guess just feeling like Again, it's like, I feel like it's been in your reads too for a while now of you're like, of this, like, you're right, you're right, you're right. And I don't know who's in that energy though. You know what I mean? Cause it could be like, you know, halfway down the middle, you know what I mean? But it's just kind of like, <clears throat> it's an energy of somebody just really like looking at you. Like, I don't like, who is it exactly that you think you are, you know, like, what reality is it that you're living in? <laughs> you know what I mean? And really liking you, but not like, like you can, you can like all kinds of people in life. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you give them access to decision-making in your life in any way, shape or form. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like somebody is just looking at another person like I'd like really and truly like I don't know why you would think that you would ever have the right to ask any of that of me you know or like to like say any of that to me and I don't know I guess I just feel like this idea of of like breaking out of a box because again in the beginning of the read it was like that is where you belong that's where you stuck that you're stuck there that's where you live you know what I mean <laughs> and you being like bet you know like I'll get out I'll do it myself there does feel like a little bit of like anger that you have to do it yourself but I feel like this person's looking at you and they're like I'm sorry do you have to do this by yourself 
You mean like all those times that I had to do all of it by myself? Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like that's what that feels like though. Because <clears throat> it does feel like it's something that you legitimately have to break out of. <laughs> Because again, I just feel like it's this idea of like who you show up as is not representative of, I think, like the connection that you had with this person. And it's like, that's fine. If you want to live behind that mask, dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, also, I just kind of feel like you don't want to because I, I think that what you want is on the other side of that mask is on the other side of this limitation that you're facing. And I mean, you know, like this could resonate in a lot of different ways. It doesn't have to be like a romantic relationship. This is just reading as a romantic relationship. It can be a friend, a group of friends, an opportunity, you know, like a, like a group that you're joining. And I don't know, maybe you have to like meet some qualifications in order to do it. And, and somebody was like, you're not ever going to be able to meet those qualifications. And you're like, bet, bitch. <laughs> Right? I mean, they're just like, <clears throat> these reads aren't limited to just relationships. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Aries. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, the box, I feel like it's just this idea of like feeling limited. And I think laying that to rest, right? You're breaking out of it. You're headed in a direction that you've made a decision to move towards. I think towards somebody who is really still looking at you like, what reality do you live in actually? <laughs> I'm running out of realities here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and it's like, um, I think, again, it's like it's something where I feel like you need to heal something with somebody. I feel like this is somebody who you've been dealing with, who, like, you capped out with this person. And I feel like you're aggressively making decisions to move in another direction. So I don't know if, like, y'all have been separated for a while or do you know what I mean? But it's just kind of this idea that that you're wanting to move in a direction to bring healing to a relationship. And I feel like saying with the Empress and the Mentor, I don't know, I, like when I look at this, I just like I, I have this sense of like a calling, right? Like she's sitting on her throne and like he's he's standing before her. I feel like saying in gender neutral, you can be on either side of the story. <laughs> um, but like also, I just feel like there's this idea of like a guiding light, <clears throat> you know? Um, so, okay. Clarifiers. <laughs> Aries, it's a good energy though. Like, thank God. My water signs were both. <laughs> okay. Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Empress again, and the Moon. I feel like you've just been working on yourself. You've pulled away to really work on yourself. And I think that you've had to really just start leaning into your intuition way more. And to that, I say, good job, Aries, because I know my Aries are so action oriented and, and as a result tend to be very reactionary. And it's a big deal when you guys slow down and you like trust your intuition um, you know, like you become like your strengths, like you just like upped your XP or some shit. I don't know, <laughs> but it's just this idea of like seeing your way out, you know, like hearing the call and, and stepping into your abundance. Because again, if you're crossing over into an arena of life, Sorry. 
that offers you a sense of intimacy that sh sh like just demonstrates an awareness of you. I almost feel like this person sees you and the level of vulnerability that you feel around this person freaks you the fuck out. <laughs> And like, and pulling away and, and getting caught in this cycle to, to the point where this person just looked at you and they were like, like in real life though, like in real life, <laughs> like, who do you think you are? You know? And it's just kind of this idea of like you having to like cross over to really engage with the intimacy of who you are, but you like, I just feel like you were not comfortable with it at all. And something happened that put you in a position where it was like a, like a make or break, you know, like a do or die kind of situation. I feel like this person was not fucking with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. You can be on the other side of the story. I'm just going to read it how, how it's coming through. <laughs> you do with it what you will. Okay, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. Oh, gracious. That was in stock. The Devil. Temperance, Eight of Swords, Two of Cups, Judgment, and Five of Swords. Well, you know, again, this whole box situation and the mask situation, you know, and just like how confining it is and how it really doesn't do anybody any good in any way, shape or form. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's just so not even. And I think realizing that like you're like, you are, you create your own limitations, right? It's like, you're the one who is just like chilling with these ropes loosely around you, <laughs> you know? Like, almost like that. I don't want to take my blindfold off. I don't want to take my blindfold off. But it's like, chill. You, like, cool. Don't take your blindfold off. Stay there in those sorts. That's what you've been doing the whole time anyways. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> but again, I just feel like this. Like, it's like, if you want to bring balance to something, then you have to show the fuck up for that thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's a real simple, I don't know, Aries. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm still rooting for you, right? I don't know. I was rooting for you last time. Um, <laughs> Aries, I think that everything happens at a time and a place for a reason. The storm and the seed and the comic. Um, I mean... <sighs> Because there's just a lot of confusion, you know, and I feel like there's like it was it's I feel like there's a question because I feel like a like a like when it rains too much and the like and the seeds get flooded out. And that's kind of what I feel like the whole energy of this read has been like it rained so much that the seeds got flooded out and ain't shit take root. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like you like like you know it too you're like yeah that adds up <laughs> and I think that you know I mean the comic is the idea of you know like being able to find the humor in things because we are all growing we are all changing like nothing is permanent you know what I mean and I feel like there's just an idea here of you moving in a direction with like an energy of, of acknowledgement, I feel like, because you can't hide from it. <laughs> and if you are the type of person who would rather try and hide from, from like hide the reality of themselves from people, um, then be authentic, then people will see that. You know what I mean? Like people pick up on that shit pretty quick. And I don't know. I just kind of feel like the only way through or the, the only, the only way out is through, you know, and it's just kind of like, okay, well then we got to make the best of it. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's kind of your energy, um, and your like mentality for it because I just think I get this feeling that there's, there's like this, oh, I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm ready to do this. 
you know. Um, okay, Aries, well, I wish you lots of luck. Uh, if this video does resonate, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.